Azam uh, is a brand that was derived from an Arabic word called uh, Adim, or great, greatness. But it's also Urdu as well, which means great. Uh, my name is Abu Bakr Bakresa. I'm the executive director of uh, Said Salim Bakresa and Company. The group uh, began in the mid-70s, uh, and uh, it was my father who started the, the business. Uh, he initially owned uh, a restaurant, it was called Azam. Because of the success of the brand, uh, my father has kept the brand uh, for all this period. So all the new products we were launching, we were launching with the, with the flagship brand, Azam, and, and everyone was expecting uh, success with each brand. And we, we had to be very careful that every time we launch a new product, that uh, the brand uh, was, was matching, the product was matching with the perception of the brand in the country. The Bacresa Group is now employing over 5,000 people and we have just crossed over $800 million turnover per year. The Azam brand was filed for protection in 1999, and the reason why it took us so long to, to, to file for that uh, was by that time we realized that the brand was very powerful and I think we needed protection and we felt that this is the right time that we want to make the Azam brand uh, the flagship brand uh, but also a brand that we want to have a vision and the vision was always to, to become a Pan-African brand. By creating a very strong trademark it means you are marketing your products you need not even mention your company but just the mere mentioning of your, your, your trademark People get to know what you sell and they get to, to pick those products on the shelves or in the market. It can elevate you from one level of, uh, to, to the higher level of economic power. Whenever people came to Africa, they, th they thought the, the, the people do not require quality. You know? um, they, they require price. But we, were, we managed to get that mix correctly, that we matched quality and price. And that has been the success of the brand. And that is where we're heading. Azam as a brand has evolved to become a really a nationalistic brand that people associate to with pride in Tanzania. The Azam brand is very strong in Tanzania. We are now also a very strong brand in Uganda. We are a strong brand in Rwanda, a strong brand in Burundi. We are a strong brand in, in uh, Mozambique, northern Mozambique, and in Malawi. So it's a very strong brand outside of Tanzania as well. For us, our dream is to make sure that we have more people like us who are sincere about their business, who want to develop their products, who, want, who are there for the long term, and they're keen to develop the economies and, and make sure that you have more entrepreneurs, you develop your middle class, uh, you have more purchasing power, uh, and the governments are there to support the private sector. If you have that, you have more people like us, you have more Azams out there, uh, I think we have a good chance in Africa, we have a good chance in Tanzania uh, to reduce poverty, to improve the standards of living, uh, and uh, I think we're going to get far.